Hi, welcome to GMC. At GMC, we offer and host many organizations and clubs. These include Student Government, Student Ambassadors, Beta Club, Robotics, and Biology. Let's look at what these groups have in store. So, robotics centers around the team doing like a singular challenge per like the semester year that FTC starts at. FTC. So the main roles that we have, people switch around a lot just based on like some downtime we have or if the robot's close to being done. Um, so we, we have a quote engineering lead and then we have um, the captain which is me and then we have programmers and um, we also have people that work on an engineering notebook because during the judging phase of each competition, that's what we present to the judges that way we can show our process and how we got to where we were with the robot. Definitely a passion for either the building or the electrical programming side because if you're not interested to start with if there's any downtime and you're kind of goofing off and not really working on it, then that kind of shows the club isn't really the right fit for you. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, like the more people, the better. I think you have scrimmages that you do, which are basically like practice matches. Most robots aren't really done, but you're just seeing what you have so far, um, testing out the program on a live field. And so I think we had like three or four of those at the beginning of the year. And then we actually had a regional competition. And if you win the regionals, which we did this year, you go to, to the state competition, and that has like a lot more teams, a lot more finalized designs, and it's like more serious, basically. If you're trying to go into like a STEM major, then saying that you were you work with FTC or you are in a robotics club definitely helps on your resume. And in addition to that, there are actually FTC scholarships that you can apply for. Um, and I think most of them you would apply during your junior year if you're on the team. So that kind of fits with the junior leadership part. Yeah, I definitely enjoy it. It's, the leadership experience is good because I kind of realize like how hectic it can get where I'm sitting down and I have multiple people asking me at the same time, what are we supposed to be doing? What's the next plan? I just got to think of something right away. So I, I think that'll help a lot in the future. So even if um, you're not quite sure if you're passionate about being on robotics, even if you're sort of like a design person, having like a theme and kind of decorating the robot and like having outreach to other teams like that, it still fits perfectly within the competition. We talk about different like subcategories sub of biology. Yeah. We sometimes do some like labs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and like we just go over a couple weeks at a time different like units of biology just talk about it mostly. We plan on going to an aquarium at some point for marine biology nice. and then uh, for projects we're doing one on pollution right now uh, so we're collecting uh, bottles around the school and we're gonna make like a big sculpture out of them. So Student Ambassadors is one of the organizations we have here at GMC. Um, it's a part of a national consortium called Middle College National Consortium Student Leadership Initiative. Um, so every year there's the national consortium gives us a topic that's either environmental or social justice, social issues related. And so, so that usually manifests in some kinds of project. Then at the end of the year, we get to go to a conference, a national conference, and it's in a different city every year. And there, we get to present what we've worked on and what we've learned, and hear and talk to and work with similar organizations from other middle colleges all over the country, and see how that issue specifically relates to their school and their community, and what they did to fix that which is always a really amazing experience for all of us. Now it's a class, and I think that's how it's going to be for a while. Um, it's going to be like a first period, so you have to be able to work that into your schedule, which not everybody can do. Um, there's an application process. The application process has been a little bit di different each year. Um, I think this year it's mostly a written application, because really what's more important than the grades that you make is the way that you work with people and the way that you you know, if you care about what you're doing and if you care 
about the school and the topic and if you're willing to come um, every day with everything that you have um, for something that's like bigger than just your academics. Our school is, while it is based on you know project-based learning, I think Student Ambassadors is kind of an extension of that, um, but it brings something to your academic life as a student that you really can't get anywhere else, which is working about and thinking about your school in a way that's not so about you, and it's not so structured, and it's not so performance-based. It's really about um, thinking about the experience and about other people's experiences, especially, and the way that that can be better for everybody. I love Student Ambassadors. It's one of my favorite things that I've done as a student here. Um, not only do you get to do all the cool stuff that I've been talking about, but you get to do it with you know, really interesting people who care a lot about what they're doing, and I've made some of my best friends in Student Ambassadors. Student Ambassadors will change the way that you think about your life as a student. It'll change the way that you think about social issues, and it'll change the way you think about the, your peers and the world, really. So Beta Club is a national um, club that is built on the four pillars of character, service, leadership, and achievement. We do a lot of service projects and within the community and within GMC, they, we've done things like camp food drives, volunteering at local elementary schools, um, Special Olympics, all kinds of things. The academic requirement to be invited to be a Beta Club is a 4.0 GPA and you also have to pay $15 dues each year and so that, that covers being in the club and um, also your, like, when you graduate it covers your stole for graduation and then you also have to go to the monthly meetings and you get this little card and you have to get it signed by exec members which are like the leadership committee and then you also have to do service projects a certain number so you have to do two GMC sponsored events, which you can also get service hours for, and two Beta Club sponsored events, and then a f one fundraiser. I love it so much. It's been a really fun, really fun three years. If you get invited to join Beta Club, I would definitely say go for it. At least like try it out, and if you decide it's not something you want to do, you don't have to keep doing it. Student Government is a student organization where four kids from each grade are voted in by their peers um, to represent their class um, and their school in creating activities and running events throughout the school year. Spirit Week is our biggest event um, and that includes like probably 14 smaller events and the big event of Spirit Week. So that's our biggest thing that we do but besides that all school year long we're organizing little events like dances or profiteers or um, anything kind of smaller for the students to do. Um, I would say pretty much if it's a student activity, one or more student government kid has a hand in it, even if it doesn't seem like it. Um, but you, you typically always know when it's a student government run event. It's just kind of like with athletics where you have to be in good academic standing to be involved in something else because it is a student government. So you're a student first and then you're a student government representative. The same as student athlete kind of idea. Um, so there's that requirement. That also, when I was talking about teacher recommendations, making sure that you're active and involved and participating and not cheating in your classrooms, like all of that stuff goes together. So um, on your teacher recommendation, it kind of addresses all of those categories in a way that's ensuring that they don't get kids that cheat in the classroom or slack in the classroom and make sure that they're giving 110% in the classroom so that they can then have the opportunity to do so in something else. The student government is very close um, and We've worked a lot on being close with each other and not being exclusive because that would be the last thing that we want. We, we are here to serve our community, not to exclude them in any way. Um, so that's always a huge focus of ours. But we also understand that in order to work well with each other, we have to be with each other a lot. Um, so it's kind of like this paradox of like we don't want to exclude anyone in school, but also we need to be able to work well with each other so we have to know each other really well. I think I would say if you're looking for a place to feel at home and you're looking for a place to feel loved and included and then use that to love and include other people, student government is where you're going to find it. 
Hey, come join us in. So come join us. Join us. Come join us. Hey, come join us in robotics. Join us in biology club. Let's do the best. Join us in beta club. Let's do government. I can't wait to see you there. Why? And that's why senior project was so easy for me. When I got to senior project, I loved it, and I never got behind. I always did my work on time because I was eager to do it. I wanted to do it because I loved flying. So if you truly love what you choose, a senior project should be easy. With D.